Peace and prosperity be unto all who's listening and watching. It's your girl, Lashay Miller, right? And I'm back with another video. And today, I want to talk to you guys about a question that I saw on Facebook earlier. And the question was, how is it that you can be surrounded by a lot of people who support and love you and still feel lonely on the inside? And... All that goes back to self-love and knowing your importance and knowing your value, right? Knowing your self-worth. And it all goes back to you because you can have all that stuff outside of you no matter what. You can always obtain endless love and support if it's sincere and genuine you can always find it outside of you no matter what yeah you always get that but you would never truly reciprocate those things you would never really appreciate nor would you be able to connect or be in tune with those things as well if you never understand that it has to be within you so there's some part of you that doesn't fully understand loving you your value your self-worth your happiness and it's some parts of yourself that you haven't tended to in a while because you've neglected to do the work on yourself you know that subconscious thought that tells you hey we shouldn't do this anymore or hey we should really we should really slow down we, we shouldn't be doing all this or like it's time to make a difference like you you have those thoughts where you know you know that you need to make a difference or a change in your life yet you neglect to do those things and it, it comes to a bowling point in yourself where you come to this realization that you're you're alone you're alone because you choose to be and that's the reality of it um yeah it's hard learning how to be open to be feminine to be expressive to be a balance of masculine and feminine energy and like to find someone who's sincere enough to be open to right but first you have to be totally sincere and honest with yourself first of all you can never find anything outside of yourself that you haven't given yourself so do you love, support, care, cherish, value, and know your self-worth? So, because even if other people around you can see the value, love, and gives you support, that outer support will never be reciprocated. It will never be felt. It will never, you will never be connected to those people. You will care. You will really feel the love in hard times because they will always come through for you. But... The biggest thing is knowing that those things don't fulfill you the way that you can give yourself the things that you need in order to be fulfilled. It's like in the morning, waking up, looking in the mirror and saying to yourself, I am whole, I am happy, and I am content with who I am. And despite what mistakes, flaws, or decisions I've made, those decisions mistakes flaws make me who i am today and if i didn't go through the things i went through i wouldn't be the amazing person i am today it's it's being realistic is having both yin and yang and center is having a balance of understanding saying that despite the bad there's so much good to be grateful for and even when i fall short in life there's so much rewarding lessons that come with all these things and it's just like having a ultimate gratification in your life and like for the things you go through and the lessons that you've obtained through those hardships lessons suffering and you know things that you have to experience in your life so i need you guys to understand that knowing your value knowing your self-worth having self-love for you is so important and like 
you will always feel empty if you don't find some value about you. Now, as some people find self-worth in things they do and things they buy and people they're with and the woman that they love or the man that they love or they attach it to something or someone else. <laughs> you cannot tie your happiness. You cannot tie your self-fulfillment or your self-worthiness to other things outside of you. If you tie it to other things, then whatever outside of you, anything can happen. It's like a stock market. If you tie your happiness to whether the stock market is up and then it drops, it's like going on a down streak for a long period of time and it never comes back up for like a long period of time, if you only tie it to that, those results, you would never be happy. You can't tie it to your... You can tie your happiness and your fulfillment and your wholeness and your uh, contentment to things and people. Because at the end of the day, people change, people switch up, you know, things happen in life. So only you can provide the things necessary for you to be fulfilled, content, and happy. And it comes to loving and accepting yourself. And the first step to happiness is first saying that you're going it's not it's not it's being realistic okay it's being really realistic because happiness is a state of being like i always say in my videos happiness is a state of being but one doesn't necessarily need to be happy in order to be happy see sometimes we believe the feeling of something necessarily means that we can keep going forward Happiness can be idealistic for some people. People love the idea of how happiness looks, not necessarily how, how it actually is and what it actually feels like. And how healthy it can be when you genuinely are happy. When you genuinely are happy, right? It's looking in the mirror and saying, I am happy with all of who I am despite my imperfections it's saying i am enough despite how i feel within and it's it's finding the courage to work on those inner things it's finding the time to work on the inner self and like be better so ultimately it starts with you it's not the ideal how it looks it's not the ideal how it may feels but yes it feels extraordinary when you genuinely are happy trust me when you are genuinely happy with yourself and not the objects, people, material, you know, the things around you, the things outside of you, if, if, if your happiness involves the outer realm of yourself, because the inner realm is you, the inner world, your mind, your spirit, your heart, your soul, your what makes you a person, like those things within you, those concepts, those, those things make us a whole person. If, if your happiness is not within the universe, within yourself, your inner self, if it doesn't start here, it can never be out here. And you first got to find it here before you can obtain it out there. Because if you obtain it out here first and never find it out here, all these things outside of you are vain. Because you would never be grateful for them. You would take them for granted. It would never be reciprocated. You cannot find fulfillment from it. It won't last. You would never be appreciative. You'd never be happy with it. It's just so many different things that comes with placing all your livelihood, all your happiness, your contentment, your wholeness, your peace, your everything to everything outside of you. When everything within you is so much more important. What makes you worthy is within your essence your being your spirit your mind your heart your soul that makes you wealthy that makes you most valuable asset that makes you most amazing person these extraordinary things within you that combines and makes you the ultimate you right and then as you're working on these things because we all have to do like our personal development and like work on ourselves we all have something that we can work on i have something a lot of things like a lot of things that i need to work on but at the end of the day you're still amazing you're still beautiful and no matter how long you feel in the most 
supported love times of your life. Know that you are never truly or fully alone. There's always somebody there to guide you or there with you. And you're in the absence, though you may not see the presence of the one there, there is always one there with you. So be content with knowing that you're never alone. And I want you guys to know that I love you. And I hope you guys have a prosperous day. And like, comment, subscribe, share this video. And if this resonates with anybody, um, just know that it's a lot of people who anybody can feel supported, loved, but feel alone within. You know, you can be the most inspirational person and have like the worst depression or the worst, the worst thoughts. You know, it's not to say that you're perfect. The things that you do, it's just to say that you're still human too. And it's that you go through things and you experience life's experience just like anybody else. It's to say that you're just like the rest. You have to go through things. You have to overcome things. And you have to become greater each day. Love you guys.